Ladies and gentlemen, we've been playing the Panda Remix for a while now, but I think it's time to talk about some of the problems that take away a lot of the fun from the game. So I'll be mentioning those next along with some possible fixes, and I'm also interested to find out what was your experience with Panda Remix so far, do you enjoy it, and would you like to see some changes to the systems in the game to make it more engaging? One of the biggest problems is that you use the same currency in-game to upgrade your gear and to get all the goodies that you are presented with in the forms of mounts, transmogs and toys. I've heard some complaints that the upgrades cost way too much bronze, but I don't think that's really the problem. So far I've played on and off on my main and I'm far from actually reaching max level, but I enjoyed the grinding process and the sense that you are slowly getting more and more powerful. However, I'm investing all of my bronze to upgrade my gear and I haven't had the chance to buy some of the mounts and the transmog that I'm actually interested in. It's gonna take me some more time to actually reach max level and then I can start grinding the bronze for the transmogs and at this point I've already seen enough of the game and it becomes a little bit like a chore because I needed a few weeks to get to max level and then I'm gonna need many more weeks to actually get all the items that I wanna buy. Both of these are two extremely long grinds and I don't think they need to be connected. It would have been much better if there were let's say two currencies, one of them you would use to upgrade your gear and the other one you can use to buy all the transmogs and mounts that you're interested in. This way if you're interested only in one aspect of the game you can focus on the respective currency, but at the same time it will allow players who want to have the full experience of the game to have much smoother journey and you can be making progress on both of your goals, gearing up and farming all the goodies. So maybe if there are future remix iterations, that's one thing to be considered. This is kind of relevant to the second biggest issue that I have, but this is playing olds and not upgrading their gear at all. I had a lot of fun trying different classes and different specs, but there's absolutely no way that I'm gonna be grinding all the bronze to upgrade their gear as well so I can actually play them competitively. Sure, I had fun leveling them and yeah, sure, I can use their bronze to buy some items, but once they reach maximum level, they're done. I could do a few dailies to get more bronze or I can queue into some raid and get carried by some overpowered people, but since I haven't upgraded my gear, it doesn't really make a difference if I'm there or not. And I think it would have been much better if there was a catch up system on the gear upgrades. If you've already spent half a million bronze to upgrade your gear to maximum level on your main, there's no way you're spending half a million more to get it on your ult. God forbid if you have more than one ult so then you have to spend a million or even more. That would be fixed if there were two separate currencies because the upgrade currency would have nothing else to spend on so you would upgrade your gear anyway. But another possible solution would be to just decrease the amount of bronze that you need to upgrade your gear if you got into a certain level on your main already. For example, you need half a million on your main but if you got to that level then let's say you need a hundred thousand on your ult to get to the same level. Yes, it's still a lot, but at least it's something that you would consider if there was a discount. I was really excited about the Panda Remix because I never played this expansion, so I was hoping that I'll get to experience it full power on. And while that was the case for questing and leveling, when it comes to dungeons and raids and endgame experience, it was actually not such a nice experience overall. Frog farmers or not, you would get paired with people who have very high item level gear or overpowered cloaks or both and whatever content you're doing, they can basically solo it. And yes, I guess it could be fine lying dead on the floor and watching somebody solo the bosses so you can get all the gear and the bronze at the end. But that kind of feels the same as going to those same raids in retail and just one shotting the bosses with your main there. So at the end of the day it's not really like you experienced that content in the way it was supposed to be. And I don't know maybe it's just me but I would love to be able to queue into whatever content I'm interested in with people who are at the same power level as me. In my mind that would make the content a little bit more challenging and more interesting and it would allow you to experience the game in the way it was supposed to be experienced at the first place. 
And last but not least, I think the endgame becomes quite stale quite quickly. In fact, I would even say that there is not that much endgame because once you reach maximum level, you get carried away in few raids and then you become way too powerful and the only thing that you can do is actually solo the raids yourself. But there is nothing that's hard, interesting or challenging at that point. I leveled a warlock as a node because I was really interested to learn how to play this class just to realize that now I have to wait for this to be converted to a retail character so I can actually play it into a content that matters. Even if somehow I decided to upgrade the gear on my oats, I would still be playing with overpowered people and it wouldn't matter if I'm there or not. Obviously to ask about something like mythic plus system is a bit too much for a remix content, but I think there should be at least some kind of a scaling content even if it's the scenarios, even if it's something that you can solo queue into but something that would make it matter what kind of buttons you're pressing and how are you playing your character so the end game is at least there and it feels like you're making a difference in the content that you're participating in. And yes, leveling is quite fun, questing is quite fun, but once you get to a max level there should be something else for you to do instead of waiting for this event to end so you can actually use this character in retail. And that something should be more interesting than you just lying dead on the floor and waiting for somebody to solo kill the bosses. So yeah, thanks for watching, let me know what was your experience playing the remix so far and is there any changes that you would like to see in the game. I'll see you guys in the next video, now get out of here.